Hi, ho. Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm going to be discussing how to do regular 8 film conversion today. Normally, this is what they call a telescene process. A telescene process is where they actually will convert film to a digital format. So what we have here is a Sankyo Dualux 2000H projector. Uh, we get these projectors off of eBay, and one of the nice things about these projectors is that they are a sprocketless design. So a sprocket in a projector is typically what will feed the film through on a current basis, but they also have teeth that will pull the film by the gate. So you want to be able to have um, as few sprockets as possible because it actually will do a couple of different things. It will um, allow you to convert uh, different kinds of film um, a lot more smoothly than before. So um, I'm just going to kind of go through this uh, projector and explain some of the different features that we have. So on this projector we have uh, the front dial right here with the still, normal, and slow motion. Um, also in the middle of this dial is what they call a rheostat. So a rheostat control is a control that has a uh, more fluid motion to it so you can twist and turn and you can turn the speed as variable as possible. So we like this because it actually will sync up with our, um, our cameras quite well. Another portion of this is the focus. So we have two portions of focus. We have the zoom that's on the front of the projector here, as well as the focus right here. Um, of course, this is pretty straightforward, you know, to the right, to go the left to hold it still. Also, the control mechanism for the motor is back here with the forward lamp as well as reverse lamp. Most projectors will always have a forward lamp and a reverse lamp on the motor. Also, you can select, like I said before, between super and regular eight on this, which is why it's called the dual lux, and also the framer. So this is what frames the film in the projector for you so that if uh, there's a piece that's looking like it's actually being repeated on the top, it normally is, and so you need to pull that frame up so that it actually looks as though it's being run correctly. Yeah, I can 